Hey guys, it's Bieber. So, Chaffee County Sheriff's Office in uh, Salada, Colorado, They this is a press release. It has been, this is in regards to Susan Morphew, the missing mom in Colorado. She went missing on Mother's Day. Um, bike ride, she never returned home. They live pretty much remotely in the middle of nowhere in the mountains. Um, I did a video on it. Well, I guess it was probably about a month and a half ago. Um, she has a husband. She has two daughters, older daughters. Um, husband's kind of, you know, potentially person of interest. Nobody's come out and said that. Um, you know, we, we see. We see husbands, you know, do awful things to their wives. You know, um, th there's nothing. There's no concrete anything showing anything as far as his guilt or lack thereof, honestly. But anyways, quick recap, but Chaffee County Sheriff's Office, who is handling this along with the FBI, but they have a, plus, a press release now. It has been two months since Suzanne Morphy was reported missing in Chaffee County. In that time, investigators have followed up on hundreds of tips and conducted a number of searches in an effort to locate Miss Morphy who was reported missing on Mother's Day, May 10th. In addition, let's see, in addition to countless interviews conducted in the last two months, more than 600 tips have been called into a designated tip line, and many searches have been performed throughout the county. On July 9th, 2020, hold on one second, July 9th, 2020, local, state, and federal investigators returned to search the Morphew property west of Salida once again search the area for any additional information related to Miss Morphew's disappearance. The case remains very active, as more than a dozen investigators are aggressively working this case on a daily basis, said Chaffee County John Spitz. And until we determine what happened to Suzanne, we can't discount any scenario or formally eliminate anyone from suspicion. So, uh, I'll continue reading in a second, but I know a YouTuber, uh, Tyson Draper, I remember his name is, he, uh, good on his part, he caught an off-the-cuff interview, um, kind of secretly, of her husband, Barry Morphew, and he flat out says he's been cleared. So, you know, and right here, you know, they're saying, no, nobody has been eliminated. Nobody has formally been eliminated, and no scenario has been, you know, counted out. So this is still a very fluid investigation. The public is asked to continue to report any information about this case by calling 719-312-7530. The Chaffee County Sheriff's Office is being assisted by the Colorado Bureau of Investigation and the Federal Bureau of Investigation in this missing person case. To date, no arrests have been made Miss Morphew has not been located. The Chaffee County office will release information related to the investigation as it comes available. There is no press conferences planned or interviews being provided by the uh, sheriff's office at this time. Um, heck, I forgot my train of thought. And um, let's see. I did hear earlier that um, FBI agents were in the area six of them to be exact, and something about a, and Lauren Scharf from, I think it's Fox 13, she, uh, she posted, FBI has confirmed that they are doing an operational activity today in Maysville in regard to the missing person case of Suzanne Morphew. And somebody had asked Lauren Scharf, you know, what is an operation activity? And she said, you know, from what was translated to her, that it could be an agent gathering more evidence, permanent agent or agents gathering evidence permanent to the case and or a potential person of interest they are contacting. So, you know, we don't know. Um, they, I am glad they came out with something. Um, it's been too long. It's been such a long time. And 
I know the family wants answers. I know our daughters want answers. And we just got to pray that they find her or they get closure. You know, whatever it may be that needs to happen. But again, if anybody has any information, please call 719-312-7530. And this is Chaffee County Sheriff's Office. And I, you know, I imagine you can call some of the normal ones, 1-800-LOST, uh, Colorado Bureau of Investigation, or the Federal Bureau of Investigation. So, yeah, guys, we just got to, you know, pray for the best, and hopefully they get some kind of closure. Always, you, you know, hope she's found safe. She's a gorgeous woman. She, um, she was very active in her church very active in her community. I mean, she's just all around great. And she, in essence, vanished literally into thin air, which us in the true crime community knows that that is not possible. So, I mean, something definitely happened to Suzanne, and it's been so long. So, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.